Teddy Feinberg, Brooks Stock Burger, back back at you with our weekly program. We're going to start out by talking high school hoops here in the area. Brook, three local teams, all in the top ten. Yeah, it's an exciting time. This has a really good chance to be one of the better years in southern New Mexico for basketball. You have Cruces be knocking off La Cueva, last second shot proves they can beat a good team. Right. You know, right down to the wire. You know, Mayfield went up there and got sweeped by those teams, but Oñate beat the Albuquerque teams too, so um, they're getting ready to mix it up head-to-head -head in district too. It ought to be a real fun district season. It's going to be a great district race. Essentially how the landscape breaks down is Mayfield, probably the lesser of the three schools from a talent standpoint, but Tommy Morrow always has his club prepared. Oñate is Tim Jacobs and Terrell DeRuin in the backcourt. We're talking about the finest backcourt in the state, in, in my expert opinion. And then we have Cruz's high, very deep team. Mondo Marshall, Trevor Noel in the front court. Joseph Garza, really underrated point guard, the pillars of your basketball team. Center and point guard, they got it. I think they're the favorites going into the district run, but it's going to be a great one. Let's move on to Aggie Hoops. They uh, continue their whack assault here. They host Hawaii tonight. They host San Jose State on Saturday. You said you thought the Aggies had to sweep. Yes, they need to sweep this weekend. Um, they're gonna. This is a year they could maybe win the whack. Mm -hmm. uh, San Jose State, Hawaii is coming in. They're combined 0 and 8 in the conference. Uh, the Aggies have a great record against Hawaii recently. They got to take these two at home. Yeah, I have if they're going to be a champion, step up, take these two at home. I have to agree with you. The WAC is down this year. Utah State remains a very solid team. The Aggies are a top three team, even without Wendell. They still have the talent to make it happen. Hawaii's traveling a long way. San Jose State, chronic underachieving program there. The Aggies really should take care of business this weekend at the Pan Am. There's no reason to think they shouldn't. Menzies no. has been solid in, the, in his WAC tenure. And, they should take it. Get out and cheer them on. You know, after you watch the Steelers beat the Ravens, go out and cheer for the Aggies this weekend. Get some popcorn and go pop and lose your voice. You don't need it till Monday anyway. Pittsburgh Steelers fan here, folks. Let's move on. Lastly, Tony Samuel, former Aggie coach, ran the program from 97 to 2004, wins FCS Coach of the Year. You covered Tony in your tenure as sports editor here. Your impressions? Yeah, he's in Lake Girardeau, Southeast Missouri State. They were 2-9 and nine last year. This year they go to the playoffs. He wins the award. You know, he gave New Mexico State two winning seasons. Uh, one of them was seven wins. Had the New Mexico Bowl existed, they probably would have ended their bowl drought and gone to that. Um, he didn't quite get over the hump, though, and that's what cost him after seven years. You know, they couldn't quite take it back-to-back -back seasons. He'd have a winning season, then they'd drop off to three wins just again. So, but, you know, they had success. They recruited some great talent here, some guys who went on who are still in the NFL. A 34-57 and 57 career record at other schools, that would not be enough to get you a cup of coffee here. It's Lombardi-esque. But the reality is that Samuel did put together some winning seasons. I'm just going to say this, though. Different era. Sunbelt, WAC, they're in the WAC now. There are better programs in the WAC, in my opinion. I believe that to be the case. But... Hey, he did have some success. NMSU obviously had a keeper. Hopefully that football program can turn it around. Folks, thanks for joining us again this week. Check us out online, Facebook, and Twitter. We're featured on all three. Have a great week. See you.